Trump back in Hold on. Look. Money speaking out. of Trump. That's what they're saying. Look. Look. Money. We're talking about a businessman. You done bought Trump up. Man, Trump done been indicted and arrested on on 34 counts of falsifying business records related to hush money payments in 2016. This the first time in history a president has had to plead guilty to anything. That's a situation in itself. I want man, y'all ever thought y'all live to see the day that happened? Yes. We're talking about Donald Trump, so I mean it's believable. It's believable for me. For him, anything is possible. He a gangster. He can't. There's been a lot of controversies around about him and his presidency from Jump Street. So, I mean, it ain't too far. Yes. They let him in though. He falsified documents um, that I guess trying to hide the fact that he had then gave Stormy Daniels uh, a female adult actress. He had to pay her um, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars and made her sign a do a non disclosure agreement that um. He say that it's false. It's fake news. She say she was paid $130,000. They had sex. She was supposed to keep her mouth closed. And even though she signed uh, NDA, there's a clause in non-disclosure agreements that state that can be broken if there is sexual misconduct involved. So that was the loophole she used. And... She on Trump ass. Um, they didn't been in court. She'd have been ordered to pay over one hundred twenty thousand dollars in legal fees. And Stormy Daniels said she'd go to jail for she pay him a red cent. That's <coughs> y'all, y'all again. Y'all who ever thought y'all the live to see the day y'all seen this type of stuff in our politics. I mean, this well, you must have forgot about Monica Lewinsky and Bill Clinton. Yeah. I was going to say Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton had a lot going on. Did he get impeached or he just faced impeachment? The only difference is Bill Clinton got got had all that going on during the time where stuff like this wasn't broadcasted. They can sweep stuff like that under the rug easier back then. I think I'm more taken back by the fact that he was arrested. But again, that go to y'all what we was just talking about. I think that's low key. She don't want him in jail. He's only. Arrested and uh, he facing charges for falsifying the paperwork. I feel like it could have been a move of Republicans to want to get him out the way. He doing too much. He out the way. He ain't really no more. Like, but it still did because he was supposed to uh, really? rerun. He don't have the same in support. from my in my opinion. He don't got the same support that he did. When he first came. I know, disagree. Yeah, I think if he was to run, he'll win by a landslide against Trump. Him. Run again? I don't care what all of that say. Trump run again? He gonna win? Man, versus who? That's what I'm saying. That's the, the point. That's, the <laughs> That's my point. It definitely ain't about to be ain't Biden about. again. Yeah, old Biden, and 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 Sanders is just as old, so it ain't about to be him either. Well, mama run. So Trump run? He gonna win it again. I mean, y'all think Donald Trump should have gave us some more money to shut up? That's what I'm saying. Free Donald Trump, man. Free the money. Y'all think he should have gave us some more money? How, how you feel about his whole thing keeping her mouth closed? Sorry. I said it. I said it. But hey, I feel she did that bad. She probably wanted more money, though. He probably said, "How much he gave him?" Oh, this is Donald Trump. One thirty. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's not a lot. Cry two tears. And she a and she know that too. That's not a lot. Yeah, man. Trump was on. Yeah. He about should have gave her a million. That's what I was thinking. More like an M. She should have gave. He should have gave her a M. Go on, hush up about this. It's Trump. Hey, I know you good for it. Notice, <laughs> notice too. Ever since he done been out of office, since the day he stepped out of office. You ain't the seen what her name is, Melody. You ain't the seen his wife Noah. I asked, I bet, I bet they agreed on a millie, and he just gave it on some disrespectful type shit. Like, bitch, I ain't giving you no millie. Here, take this. That's what really made her like. All right, I'm gonna show you. Free Trump, man. Hope you uh beat them charges. Um, moving along from hood politics. LSU girls, NAACP championship, first time ever. Congratulations to y'all. Um, man, Tigers. y'all did y'all thing. They set a lot of records. The I know the views 
was crazy. They didn't shatter. They did historic numbers. Yeah, they in a nutshell, they did historic numbers when it come to views. I love them. Congratulations to Coach Malky. Um, Angel Reese and Flo J, they've been <clears throat> making headlines. They've been doing their thing. Again, shout out to y'all. LSU won the battle, but do y'all think they won the war? That's the that's that's the question I want to pose to y'all. Like, and to give y'all update, in winning the game controversy, um, there was a lot of, what you call them? What you call them? Tongue. It was a lot of tongue going on back and forth um, by the Caucasian chick that played for Iowa. And when Angel Reese, the black chick, did it, all of a sudden it was unsportsmanlike. Um, it didn't need to be done. They, you had a lot of people come out and curse these girls out, saying that they were pieces of shit, and it just a lot of uncalls for stuff to the point where I feel like the real victory here was their moment was overshadowed. What y'all feel about that? I mean, it's your. <laughs> It's your regular old shit for when, you know. I feel like. When, when we do it, it's your regular old shit. It's, it's, it's a few layers. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if LSU, if LSU lost that game, that would have never even got, it wouldn't even been talked about giving them an invite to the White House to. That wouldn't even been a conversation. Then that, it's so many layers to it. You got the racism layer to it. I feel like it's a sexism layer to it. And then you had the, uh, the president wife inviting losers to the White House for the first Something time. Never been done. It's never, never been, been done. done. I ain't necessarily gonna pull a race card on this one. I mean, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dismiss it either. But I think they just had high hopes for the uh, for the Iowa guard. She was, you know, Steph Curry had shot her out. She was big. She was like the star of, of the tournament. And that's the whole tournament she did she did some numbers. They thought she was gonna be the carry of the team. She went crazy. I think they kinda just maybe felt bad for her after seeing her uh, So what though? Angel Reese had, you know. I mean, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. I'm just possibly giving a perspective or angle that they may have looked at looked at it from. Right. This is a you know, this our people. That's that's my little white uh, you know. But your girl number four, she was balling too. She was doing her thing. Angel, Angel, Angel Reese, she had been balling throughout the whole playoffs. And, and all I'm saying is, let LSU would have lost. They wouldn't have brought up nothing that them other girls was doing leading up to that. I mm-hmm. think it was more so this right here. She did it in the girl face after she beat her. Mm-hmm. The white girl was just, that was her thing. That was her that was sort of the thing. You can't see me at every game. Man, I ain't going for it. Shout out to Angel Reese. Yeah, shout out to Angel Reese. She took to um, quite a few platforms after and spoke her and piece. She ain't going to turn down. She unapolog- unapologetic. Unapologetic. She doing this for young black girls that look like her. But she did say she's going to go to the house with her team. Um, that was after. That was way later. I know, but she's still really, she still really needs to decide to go. Are you going to stand? I mean, she's still with her team. That was pretty honorable <clears throat> in itself. She's still with her team. She discussed that with her team before she made that tweet. No, not the team was going to go. She didn't want to go. I understand that what you're saying. But she said, we ain't going. She didn't say, I don't know. Shout out to her. Shout out to Flaugier. Y'all know, I didn't know she was a rapper like she is. I didn't know yeah, she, she was. She's not a rap nation. Man, since, hold on, since when? Uh, since early in the school year, mm-hmm. she even took a leave of absence to go do uh, America's Got Talent while they was playing. That's what I just recently seen, and that performance was crazy. Yeah, she she nice. I don't want to take like I don't really too much care for this though because I also don't want to take away from the confidence level that I know that athletes can have. Me personally, I don't really see nothing wrong with a little bit of confidence and a little bit of like. Competitive. Yeah, like that kind of come with us. Yeah. See, that's when I say the sexism come into play. As men, that been going on. 
Think about it. We talked. You say you, doing that. you say you didn't want to put the race piece into it. Um, Celtics. Larry Bird. Man, he was one of the most racist basketball players I think on record that we know of. You think about that era and how arrogant he was and in your face with it. On up to now, <clears throat> we feed off that. That's that's sportsman. That's sportsmanship to us, and that's why I feel like the sexism came into play. As well as the racism, we accept it for men all day. Right. It, but when when chicks was what we expect, what we expect them to, you know, be pretty and out there on the court too. As hard as I know the that they practice, the as hard as I know that they practice and they work out to win these games that they win, I expect you to feel on top of the world when you win and ring me. I beat you. Let me get that. You know how hard they work to get to that point? They ain't do nothing wrong. I don't, I don't think, think so. she did anything wrong either. I think she just, I think they just was kind of showing a little sympathy for the white girl, to be honest. That they wouldn't have showed for the sisters, but you know, I'm yeah, they probably overshadowed the actual winners who you know struggled. A new team, new components that just went to the top. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't take that from later. NCAA champions, twenty twenty three, twenty two, twenty three. So you know, we ain't never had so much conversation about the losers of the championship. Ever. We ain't never had so much conversation about women's sports. If you ask me. So, and that's what I mean when I say I feel like they, that moment was overshadowed by irrelevant stuff. Shout out to LSU um, basketball, girls basketball team.